Oh, if I miss, I'm gonna hit myself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god! Dude, that was way too fast. Hello everyone, I'm so Tom Tor. Welcome back to Little Hope. This is part six, so I'm gonna assume that this is the end. I don't know if that's true, but assuming if it's the same length as Man of Maiden, this should be the last part. I know that these videos have been shorter, so maybe this one will be a good length one because it does look like we're getting towards the end. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump back in. Wish me luck. R.I.P. the homie Daniel. Hopefully he's the only one. But here we go. I have Angela. Factory grounds. It's almost 5 in the morning, so... Where's the sun? Where's John? John? Wait, did we lose John? We didn't lose. Oh, we did lose John. You're okay. The one person John can take care of is himself. Where did we lose him? I don't remember. It's been. It's been a minute. I actually just edited one of them, so I don't remember. Andrew, you up there? Oh, he's here. I'm up here. Up where? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Do you two look good? Nice of you to notice. Looks like you've been to the same beauty parlor as me. Swampies. Funny. Hmm. But also true. He doesn't look as dirty though. Um, did Andrews? Oh, I was gonna say, did Andrews shoes change colors, but it was just the <laughs> shadow. Who is that? Yo. Okay, so there's a car. Are we gonna hotwire it and get out of here? You see Mary while we've been apart? Mary? No, nothing. You? Ooh. Spooky? Me neither. Oh. Oh, what is that? What is that? I found a secret. Old car. Um. That's not the one. So I've been finding quite a few secrets. I don't know if I've been finding them all though. Dude, I don't understand though. Because I feel like I look everywhere. An old car with a familiar looking sun symbol. On its hood, the sun charm found in the graveyard in the same symbol. It's the sun on the hood of the car. Cool. Where was that hoe at? Oh, look. It's Mary. You see that? Why is she yelling? Keep your voice down, lady. She's got a terrible, terrible run. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Ooh, oh my god. I was actually looking right at her no when it happened. Because <laughs> I saw her shadow like in the back. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Okay, so they're not sexist. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, He's no the devil. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I can't even know the sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found this infection in madness. Roy, you back. By who? Servant. We have to stop this. Confront Mary? No, we gotta help Joseph. No, I should have confronted Mary. Now they're gonna think he was the devil. Worshipper. Damn it, I did the wrong choice. 
Look, there can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Damn, I did make the wrong choice, dude. That was so dope. Do not flinch. The fate of little orc rests in your hands. Who is that guy? He looks really cute. Oh god, we're making it worse. Oh god. Um, does that really happen? The, does blood always pour out of the face? Oh, that's a pretty picture. I love it. I love how long they lingered there. I should have confronted Mary. But now I know for next time. We don't help the people in trouble. Because it only makes it worse. Is it Dennis? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I can't get away from this thing. Ooh. I'm not letting what happened to Daniel happen to me. Are you crazy? We gotta move. <laughs> Why is she just standing there? Ah. Uh... We are of water. Trophy earned. Okay, I gotta shoot him. Or I gotta aim. Deeper understanding. Trophy earned. Come on, you fucking ready! Me too. Ooh. I'm not ready. Yes, I got him. Okay. <laughs> got him again. Nice slow-mo for zero action. I mean, at least she's running. Oh god, I almost missed it. Oh! What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, if I miss, I'm gonna hit myself. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Dude, that was way too fast. Yo, this is getting intense. Oh my god! Oh my god. Wait. Why is he coughing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Do I need to press a button? Oh, I got him. I didn't get him? Yo, are you kidding me? Come on. Oh my god, why is he moving like that? <laughs> I gotta help her. One of them is gonna die. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was, uh, was I supposed to keep pressing it? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, we're good. Oh my god. Oh, get out of here, you ugly. Oh, oh got her again. Okay. We can do it. Yo, they really outdid themselves for this one. Ugh. Damn. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What am I doing? Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh my god! Okay. Oh my god, just let me go already, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god! I got him. That house ain't gonna do nothing. Look at all those boards that we would get. We gotta go! Like now! Uh leave me and go. Trophy earned heavy burden. Oh, it's gonna get him through the hole. Is it gone? No, it's gonna get you. Don't look. Don't look. It's gonna get you. Oh my god. Where 
in God's name, are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't. Oh, right. it's the house. Nothing here feels right. It's their house. Okay, can I just say, I am having a beer. And all this excitement, it's kind of not mixing well. A premonition. Wasn't there a premonition of some random ass dude? A witch and a... Ashley Tisdale, what is she doing here? Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know Ashley Tisdale, wasn't this? <laughs> it's like that TikTok. Ariana, Ariana what, what are you, you doing, doing here? <laughs> is that the rescue team? Are they doing some like Resident Evil 7, Chris, Redfield, uh, what's up with the swing? Chris Redfield rescue thing. I feel like something's gonna pop out. Oh, I don't wanna look. Oh, okay. Oh, they're gonna do it now. They're gonna do it now. Oh, there it is. Okay. It wasn't like a, uh, uh, what you call it? A jump scare. Okay, so, oh my god, little girl, can you just go away, please? Gosh. The Modern Guide of Successful Parenting by Andreas Vogel, SFT, whatever. Oh, this one opens up. <clears throat> Do I need to put on my reading voice? Oh, is he getting flashbacks of his previous lives? Okay, let me put on my reading voice. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring. So parents accept theories that encourage love as a solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that if their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge in ever greater displays of love. Sorry, excuse me, I just burped. And I can hear those noises in the background. It is not fun. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger at their child's behavior but cannot keep a lid on their frustration until they explode, frightening and confusing the children. The children. I don't know what I'm saying. The parents feel guilty and at a loss of what to do feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. The problem lies with parents trying to be patient when patience is exhausted and the child needs correction. They are indecisive or irresolute when firmness is required. Oh, I do that with my dog all the time. If no one corrects him, the child will only escalate his behavior until his provocations be Become so serious that his parents snap. An eruption restores peace temporarily, but there is a danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty at losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure his punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo the correction by easing penalties. Discipline requires consistency. Both parents must hold the line against the rebellious child and punishments followed through. Should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit. I see the light changing off to the side. Setting limits. Parents must set limits and indeed, a child prefers his parents to be firm provided they are also fair. This is essential training in getting on with other people. Without it, the child believes the world will conform to their demands and tantrums. Such well children are often shocked by the real world and cannot cope in an environment that doesn't indulge their whims. They face becoming unpopular or learning the hard way how to socialize with others. Huh. He's gonna put it right in the same spot on the floor. Oh god. 
Oh, Jesus. Is that a... Was that her bare ass? Is she not wearing any underwear? The hell, dog? Okay. James and Anne, 4th of November, 1948. Oh. You're gonna wanna see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. She's like, I would never marry that fool. Hmm. He turned back pretty funny. Okay. So I feel like I missed some exploring over here. Did I read this? Yes, I did. It's a premonition with Ashley Tisdale. Okay. Where do we go? Dude, there's a big ass hole here. Um, is someone gonna pop out over here? The dude? His skin is shiny and glittery. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we are surrounded and we're all gonna die. I don't know if there's any saving us, is there? I've been really bad at uh, quick time events, so I don't know. Oh, the Demogorgon is back. Um, so is... <sighs> there was some sort of monster thing, right? You can see it in the thumbnail of the first episode. Um, did I look through this window yet? Okay. Okay. I hear you outside. What is this? Letter from Reverend Carson. September 71. St. David's Church, September 9, 1971. Dear Anne, Thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I felt parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12.11 says, Did all this discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Reverend Carson. And that is the Reverend that... Where's your flashlight? The Reverend that was in cahoots with her. I'm a... So, as I was editing, I know this is three episodes later, but as I was editing, because I was just editing episode three, and when she falls you to the it? floor... I did. I don't she, be the girl. After she comes back to life, Let's after she touches her, Angela touches her, she like kind of smirks in a way, where it's like, yeah, we got her. So I'm kind of wondering if they're in cahoots and the Reverend was telling her, hey, can you uh, accuse this person? That's what I'm gathering. Stay here. So he told her who to accuse. So they can just murder, he can murder people pretty much. Mm. He's looking at the record. Oh god, that one scared me. <laughs> oh my god. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, he's the devil. Will prevail. Did you guys ever watch um, this court is hastily the devil all the time? Good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. Robert Panson played a uh, priest, you, Mary, Reverend, I don't know, whatever you want to call him. What say and you, he was Reverend? doing really bad things too. The evidence as discovered through my investigation is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. 
Oh, so now he's blaming Mary. By a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly puppet. used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar. Now the death child. This creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. You made the decision to condemn Mary. You've got to let this run its course. It is never my intention to react to this town or its people. Can you not Don't talk to me like that. I do. If I could do Off with her head. Else, I would. Now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. I seek your counsel. There's something wrong in this town. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by. Are we actually changing the past? The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. Insistent. You what have to stop it? Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. The music is bumping down. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Good. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing. The devil's Hold daughter up. has deceived you all. Hold up. I pressed the wrong button, but I need to pause it. He is now going against the word of a child, yet he was going with the word of a child to murder people. How does that make any sense? People are going to realize that. Hopefully. Not me. I see her. I see her. Satan's fall. You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to follow the spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. Ah, <gasps> you. Was that why he was a favorite? At the beginning of the game. Is, is, that, is that what that means? Wait a second. Are we at the end? We're still being encompassed by the enemies. Some freaky monsters. I can't believe it's finally over. Is it over? You protected the girl and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. No, the girl was still sus. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This angle is really weird. This whole nightmare is over. Something's gonna happen. Okay, never mind. Did we survive? Is it over? Did I make it? Did we do it? 
Oh god. No. I can't lose another one. Oh, she's still alive. Okay, she's fine. Okay, wait. Oh, Jesus. Jump scare. Oh my god. Do I need to do something? Or do I just watch her- Ew, what her tongue? That is disgusting. What? What, what does that mean? Oh, she's dead. What, 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 what does that mean? Was I supposed to unlock those things? Bro. But, but why? I didn't even have a chance. Did I make the wrong choices throughout the game and that's why she's dead? That whispering is very creepy. I'm shook. I don't even know. What? The, where are the other two? And why doesn't he have a person chasing him? Okay, they hey. escaped. Oh, is that the bus driver? I'm talking to you. Oh, it's Vince. Hey! You should have stayed away. Never come back here. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. What does he know? I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. Oh, because he survived? Him. What? You need to keep an eye on this guy. He's out of control. You okay, buddy? No, please. <gasps> Wait. Plot twist. What if he was yes. one? You don't understand. <gasps> Yo, is that what's happening? Is he, the, is he the bad guy? Is that why the girl was always close to him? Bro. Wait. Wait. So that's a premonition guy we saw that we didn't I didn't recognize. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. He's a bus driver. You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Wait. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Who are you talking to? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Because hmm. he's a bus driver. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need a clear head. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us. Is he crazy? Get the hell out of here! 
I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. It's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. Was he imagining the whole thing then? Trophy earned forgiveness. Forgiveness. Trophy earned strength from within. Oh, Mr. Big Butt, what's up? Are you traumatized too? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. I think I'd rather not. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All your doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver? The bus driver. <laughs> Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <sighs> See, now I'm confused. Because what was the purpose of seeing all those lives? Look, that is. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian Desert. Maybe somewhere else. The quarry? Bonus feature unlocked? But we will meet again. Are you sure? At least one more time. Oh, House of Ashes? Um, I can't find that game and I don't want to buy it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. Well, I can't find it, so I can't even buy it. Unless I go to, like, GameStop or something. I was going to clap, but I don't know if this one deserves it. It was a clap all the way until they revealed who the, he was a bus driver. That ruined it for me. Um, it was definitely better than the other one. I think they did amazing on some parts of this, especially towards the end of it. But final answer, it's getting a three and a half out of five stars. Better than the other one, but not. Oh, excuse me, that beer. Not great. It could. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about this one. This one was definitely more entertaining for me, and there was more. Uh, more enjoyable for sure. But. Dang it, with that ending. It would have been so much cooler if he was like the priest or something. Or he was like the demon. Because like, now it doesn't make any sense. This is why I don't like horror movies. I know this is a game, but it's movie-like. And this is why I don't like them. Because they don't make sense. Because then they try to make a whole ass plot twist that is unnecessary. And not good. Okay. Three and a half stars out of five. Cool. But I was correct. This is the last episode. So, with that said, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.